So I'm here today at the all too familiar and famous Drayton Hall Lane junction of the A47, uh, Scarning and Deerham Junction. It's been a dangerous junction for decades and that's part of the reason why 13 years ago when I started here I made the A47 duelling and upgrade campaign an absolute cornerstone of my work and I was delighted back in 2014 when David Cameron then Prime Minister and George Osborne came up here and announced the duelling of the A47. Of course over a period of time we won't do it all in one go but these black spots, these accident black spots where there's intermittent duelling and key junctions have got to be sorted. And today I've been journeying back up the A47 at Necton, where that junction becoming ever more dangerous. And I've agreed, uh, working with the local parish council, with um, uh, Nigel, and with the county councillor, Mark Kittle-Morris, and Highways England, and the county council, and imp improvement works for that junction. We've also got to sort the Drayton Hall Lane junction out. And as we duel the, Nor the Deerham to Norwich section further down, and I'm delighted that that is finally being done, it is vital that we don't then create more problems back up here at this junction at Fransham and at Necton. The truth is this A47 is an arterial corridor for the whole of Norfolk and as you hear from the squealing behind me, people crossing it, people uh, moving down it, people uh, trying to catch uh, the bus at Necton, people with prams. This road is not a motorway, it's an arterial route through Norfolk and it's got to be planned so that people on it are safe, people crossing it are safe, and the villages that it serves can still connect to it properly. This is not easy, but it's an absolutely key bit of work for all MPs and councillors in this part of Norfolk. We have to have a proper trunk road system which takes vehicles out of traffic and allows the trade and long distance traffic uh, not to wrap run between uh, main roads, whilst making sure that our villages are vibrant and thriving and not full of wrap running. And I'm worried that further down as we build the, uh, the Norwich Western Link and we complete that duelling, the danger then of the rat running that's currently going on to the north of the 47, uh, then moving to the south and the villages down between the A47 uh, and Wyndham and the A11, a growing problem of rat running which is why I've set up that rat running task force group. The truth is this road generates many problems all along it and all of us here in Norfolk have got to make sure we're dealing with all the worst accident hotspots and making sure that we plan for this road to be passable through and crossable and that it's still serving the villages of Norfolk as well as the coast to coast A1 haulage and long-term traffic. Uh, watch this space, please follow what I'm doing on the website for the regular updates on my work down the A47 and making sure that we get the Drayton Hall Junction in the next road improvement scheme.